Hello and thank you so much for clicking on my video today. Uh, if this video has stumbled upon you, it may mean that God has a message for you. So if I just may ask a few minutes out of your day to just hear what God's message is today, that will mean so much. In today's video, I want to share a message that I believe will encourage you, especially if you've you know ever felt frustrated by slow progress in life or discouragement by the small beginnings. I believe we've all can speak for ourselves if things are slow or significant you know we all want to see the big results right but there's a powerful truth in the bible that reminds us you know don't ever overlook the small things in life this verse from the bible comes from Zechariah 4:10, and the first states who despises the day of small things men will rejoice when they see the plumb line in the hand of Zerubbabel this first is packed with wisdom and it reminds us that what starts small can grow into something great today we're going to get a deeper dive into this first and you know how it affects your life your goals and how you can keep going so if that being said let's take a deeper dive into this first you know it's not easy to share in front of nazareth's most preeminent rabbi but so let's start with the first part of this first you know who despises the day of small things this speaks to the times in your life when efforts feel small or unimportant have you ever felt like the work you've been putting it in doesn't really feel like it matters or that the progress you're making is just going too slow i know i have but here's the thing that you got to remember great things often start with the very small beginnings. In this verse, Zerubbabel was leading the people in rebuilding the temple of God. It was such a massive and overwhelming task. And at first, all they had was a foundation, a very small start. It probably didn't look impressive, and maybe some people doubted whether the temple would ever even be completed. But God's message to them was very clear. Don't despise the small things. Why? Well, because, you know, those small efforts were laying the foundation for something much, much bigger. And the exact same thing is true to us. You know, whether you're working on it right now, no matter how small it seems, it is part of something much greater the, that God is building in your life. So often we want to skip ahead to the big, the exciting moments, but God calls us to be, you know, faithful into the small things. Those small steps you're taking right now are very necessary and God sees every single one of them. We are with you. Keep going. Not bad for a carpenter's son, yes? <laughs> I mean, especially Joseph. The next part of this verse says, you know, men will rejoice when they see the plumb line in the hand of the Zerubbabel. The plumb line was essentially a tool used to ensure the walls were, were built straight and it represented the beginning stages of building the temple. What is interesting is that people rejoice when they see the plumb line, not because the temple was finished, but because the progress that has started. Think about that for a second. You know, they weren't celebrating the completion of the temple. They were celebrating the beginning of the work. And that is ultimately a lesson to all of us too. You know, we, you know, should celebrate the progress we're making, even if it feels small or incomplete. Are you right now currently taking small steps to a big goal? Make sure to celebrate that. Rather, it's maybe starting a new habit, you know, learning a new skill, or investing time into a relationship. All these small efforts will add up over time. They create something much, much bigger than you can see right now. The thing I really love about this verse is how it encourages us to find joy in the progress and not just, you know, the outcome. Every small victory should always matter. The plumb line is in your hand, whether it's a small act of kindness or a little bit of a progress into you know a project or just the first steps into a new journey it is worth celebrating it shows that god is at his work and he is building something truly amazing in your life even if it starts very very small the things we heard you did in capernaum and in syria do here in your hometown yes one thing we often struggle with is timing. You know, Serapable didn't, you know, build the temple overnight. And the progress was very, very slow. But that is ultimately part of God's plan too. We want things to happen quickly, don't we? But sometimes 
God asks us to trust him in the waiting. Maybe you're in a season right now where you're working on something that feels very small or insignificant. You might feel like you're not even you know, seeing the results as fast as you're hoping to, or that maybe your efforts go unnoticed. But let me encourage you, God sees everything. He sees your efforts, your persistence, and your faithfulness in the small things. And his perfect timings, those small seeds you're planting will grow into something beautiful. So don't rush to progress. God is only interested in what you are building. He's more interested in who you are becoming along the way. Trust that he knows the bigger picture, even when all you can see is the small steps right in front of you. The Lord said that he would make it so that her flour and oil would never run out. And she believed. I want you to think how small acts of faithfulness can lead to big breakthroughs. Sometimes we may think we have to make big changes all at once, but often it's the small consistent efforts that lead into the most profound results. In the Bible, Jesus talked about the faith the size of the mustard seeds. It's one of the tiniest seeds, but when it grows, it becomes a very large tree. And that's what ultimately what God does for our small acts of obedience. What seems tiny today has the potential to grow into something powerful tomorrow. And those small acts of obedience, you know, that can lead to the big breakthroughs in your relationships, your career, or your personal growth. So don't despise the day of small things. Embrace it celebrate it because God is at work in the little moments just as much as he is in the big ones. I am the law of Moses. As we wrap up this video, I want to end it with God's message. Whatever you're working on right now, no matter how small or slow it seems, just keep on going. Don't despise the small things because those small baby steps is a part of God's bigger plan in your life. Whether it's building a dream, growth in your faith, or working through a challenge, trust in God is with you every step on your way. Remember that the temple wasn't built in the day and neither will the dreams or plans God has for your life. But every day as you take those small steps, you're moving closer to the vision God has in store for you. So keep building, keep believing, and trust that God's timing is perfect. Thank you so much and God bless you for taking a few moments of your day to check out this video. If this message resonates with you, please give it you know, a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments if you so wish. I love to hear the small steps in your journey you're taking and you're trusting in God through the progress. And as always, don't forget to subscribe for more encouragement and messages rooted in faith. Stay blessed and I will see you on the next one. I'm Adam representing Team SOS and in case I don't see you on the next one, make sure you have yourself a good morning, afternoon, evening and most importantly, good night. God bless you. I'm signing off. Peace.